So stream stats is used to calculate additional statistics on your search results as well, but it is done as each search result is returned. So think of it as it's named. Events are streaming in live time and it's not calculated static post event. And that would be what they would be if it's with event stats. So stream stats in the name, events are streaming, and you can calculate it as the most recent event has streamed in, whereas event stats think static data calculated off of the events as they were run with the search. So they are similar, but the stream stats command is, it uses the events before the events to compute the statistics that are applied to each event. And if you want to include the current events in that statistical calculation, then you would set current equals true, which is the default. And if you want to exclude the most current event, you could set it to false. We can use the stream stats command with the make results command to create a series of events. This technique is often used for testing searches as we covered with the make results command prior. The eval command here is used to create events with different hours and we can use 3600 as the number of seconds in an hour and in the eval command, I'll put it to the results by hour. And stream stats will apply the count to each value by each hour. And you can see it streams it out by each hour and it will show you the results as they are per hour. Five, four, three, two, one, midnight. And the stream stats will take that and apply the count value to it. So per hour as set for our eval and with stream stats. Okay, moving towards a more complex example, let's try to apply this to something that are in my current events as they are changing. So I'm just gonna see what's running in my environment for the past 15 minutes as live data. And looks like everything's in my index of my computer's logs, so I'll switch to that. And then I'm just going to be looking for a field. I'm gonna leave it as the default of current equals true to include the results as they are coming in. And sorry for having to blur the results here, but I ended up working with one of my local IP addresses to see how much it's renewed or swapped out or how much it changes by my internet service provider. So I worked with the field local addresses. So I had a couple of IP version four and IP version six addresses to work with. And I'm going to be doing a stream stats on that field. So I'll take my last value that I had for my local address as my current IP, because that should be the latest result that I have. And I'll call it my new IP. And then I'm also going to take the last known value for time and record that and I'm gonna sort it by the local address field. Then, as we know, underscore time is gonna be an epic time, so I'm gonna use convert C time on underscore time, and I'm gonna reference it as, this is the time my address changed. So I'll say time my address changed. And then lastly, I'm going to table my results so that I can see them outputted. So I'm gonna table uh, the time my IP changed, and the value of my new IP. Okay, we can go ahead and run this. And as we see, you can see on the left, the time my address changed, and on the right, that is my new IP. Also blurred results. And just to kind of give you an example of how it is accurate, uh, we can actually incorporate the IP location command on my local address, and it will take country, city, state, um, or county, and I'll put it here in the city, and I am in St. Petersburg, Florida. And there you have it. My local address is reflective of St. Petersburg.